presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Eddie in Boca Raton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there to help you, to guide you, and even to give you some peace of mind or like that, that somebody else is there with you while you're, while you're trading this crazy market, either well, up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling and following us out here because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And, you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Serve the one you love. They got a bunch of honeybees in here, too. Pretty cool. Once you decide to be a couple, you're there to serve the one you love, to serve your love to your lover. And every kiss and every touch you feel, they're there to please the, one to one, please the one you love without expecting anything back. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 70, NASDAQ off 29, S&P's off 11, gold contract up $3, trading at 1808 an ounce. We got silver down 10 cents, $26.11 an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck 15. $75.25 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year, down 12.6, trading 133 flat. The 30 there, year off 30 at 161.18 in King Dollar. King Dollar's up 495 ticks, trading out at 92.757. Euro at 117, the yen is at 110 and a half, and the British pound's at 138 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, so you get a sideways market out here. That's a, a little volatility out here today. Uh, bottom line, SPIs make a new all-time high. You get up to 437. Right now, you're at 436. You really, you get a sideways move. Yet, there's no doubt you have the contraction of volume. I mean, they're happening. And it, it's, hap and it's happening in spades, that's for sure. That being said, guess what? We go over to the queues. Now, this is really bizarre, man. So we get over to the queues. We take a look at the queues. What you have is this. The queues are in a confirmed, well, this is one, two, three. This would be the fourth ABC up, which is just wild. So what we have here is that we're in a confirmed ABC structure up to 370.56. We've made 365.46 thus far. That being said, guess what? <laughs> the bottom line is that it's going to take out a B point today, and it's going to have the volume. We'll see how this shakes out, but I kind of, I, I don't, I do expect that we're going to get five more million shares inside of the queues. That's going to give you a price projection of 380. And this one's going to be a dicey one, man, because we'll see where this uh, whole thing shakes out. Um, hey, at the bottom, it is what it is. So at this point, I'm saying that 370 is game in a big way. I, 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 370, I think we're going to hit. Um, the 380, as this is getting higher and higher, we keep losing our altitude. But that being said, guess what? All it takes is that we get over. And by the way, what happened with Amazon, Amazon did not get the volume last week uh, for the ABC structure on the way up. Got the price going. But if we could take a look at Amazon, we were talking about Amazon. Amazon needed, oh, look, I just missed it by a million. Oh, this is interesting. We needed 22 million shares. We get 21 million shares for the ABC structure on the way up. Bottom line, didn't get it. That being said, though, it, does, it doesn't mean it won't try for it again. Um, we'll see where that shakes out. And what I mean about the aspect of where I'm at with the 380, I'm going to be, I'd be more confident in that number, seeing um, as we go through the next couple of days, more ABC structures. But if, if, if you had, let me just look at Microsoft. By the time folks call in and I go through a bunch more stocks, um, I suspect we're going to see a few more ABC structures on the way up. 
And guess what? Like it's gonna start right with it. Microsoft. Microsoft's gonna be an ABC up. Already is gonna be an ABC up, and this is a big one. It's taken out the 283 of the 280 today. You need 23 million shares. You get 19.2 right now. So we'll see if if uh, Microsoft gets it. It's gonna be a big one. This would be 254. Oh yeah, it's a beauty, man. It's uh, 26 points. That'd get, man, 26 points. That's saying Microsoft wants to go to 300 bucks. That is unbelievable. Um, bottom line, it is what it is, which is a beautiful thing. Gold. Now, this is really intriguing, folks. Okay, so check this out, man. Gold has gone topside three separate times with volume. Now, each time it, it gets up there with volume, you, you get some big sellers on the other side of this. And this is where you can really learn a lot about building cars to get through a downdraft. The first time that we went up, and this was on the, uh, what, the 7th? The 7th, you get up there, we do 272,000 contracts, you get to 1815. You give it up on price. Then the uh, last week on the 8th, we do uh, 240,000 contracts, we get to 1819, we give it up on price. Today, you're at 220. You go to 1818, you're going to give it up in price again. You're, you're still up, but you're really giving it up in price. It's not staying up at the highs. That being said, this is telling me what you're doing is that you're wearing down the supply line on the left hand side. That's what, that's what this is all about. We'll see how this shakes out. My take, though, when you come into a supply line with volume like we are, you're going to blow it away. And when you blow this away, folks, okay, you will see something fast and furious in a monster way. Now, the divergence is out here big today, and the divergence is that you got the U.S. dollar index up 491 ticks. You're over the 0.618, which was established out here on the 18th of June. That number is 91,405, and that says that, guess what? You can go up to the highs of uh, March, March 1st, with this, March 31st, which is the 93,437. If we get over and we take a look at the euro, because the euro is 60% of the U.S. dollar, you're going to see the euro gave it up in spades. Notes and bonds. Let's go to notes and bonds. This is, they had quite a run, man. Bottom line, they want to go back to their breakout area. You get some volume behind the move today. We're down with 1.8 million contracts. That's saying, number one, that you're going to go back to the breakout area. And I suspect you get the 10-year can get down to 132 right now 13205 that's the highs of the last swing low and right now you're at 133 the uh US the 30 year right now that's down a full point you also have volume behind that move 478,000 contracts and that is saying okay, so you're down with volume 161.19, we're at 160's game. 160's game. Stay right there. Come right back, folks. Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading down uh, 109. NASDAQ off 39. S&P's off 15 and a half. We'll come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TESS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by the claimed TESS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Hey there, I'm Andy Arbertine with Tiger Precious Metals and Stones. Whether you're looking to buy and sell precious metals or trying to find the perfect diamond ring, I'm here to help. I have over 15 years of experience with diamonds and precious metals. You can call me directly at 727-329-8245 and I will personally answer any questions you have and help you find exactly what you're looking for. I will be your personal concierge in the metal and stone business. Give me a call today, 727-329-8245. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 103. We get the NASDAQ off 40. S&Ps are off 14 and a half. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, every trading day right here, you can listen to Basil. Great program, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Basil also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, tomorrow is going to be a special day because he has the newsletter, but Basil does workshops, and this is open to everyone, okay? Bottom line, you get a multi-day webinar that's going to go on. Basil's going to start at 9 o'clock in the morning tomorrow, go to 4.30 in the afternoon, take a break for an hour at noontime. Then he's going to come back. Okay, so, then, so that's all day tomorrow. Then you're going to have a full two weeks sending him questions. He'll mark up your charts for you. Then on July 28th, from 10 o'clock in the morning to noon, he's going to do a whole recap. So check it out on the front page of, two, of TFNN. It's $295 for the great workshop, plus the newsletter. You're going to have a great education. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Well, if ever there was a perfect time for uh, some live demonstration of one's technique, this is it. It is it. And we've been all, at all-time highs for so long right now, it sounds weird when you say that, okay, are we ever going to have a pullback? <laughs> like... Well, i tell you what's really interesting for me. You know, I have this technique that I've done. This is, goes back to when I used to hand chart with, with a pencil and engineering paper and a ruler back in the 1970s and the early 80s before we got computers. But what I found was that peak D, that fourth highest peak from the lowest low bar, yes. um, is really so important. Look here on the Dow chart on the left. You got 35,091 all-time high May the 5th peak D. Look at that pullback. Comes all the way back and it demonstrates a whole bunch of techniques. The arch formation taking out the left side low, then rebounding. And then what happens is it starts off at 33,271. So we've been along the Dow for since last year, March. We've been adding, we, add, we took something off. We added to it just recently. I uh, took profits and then we added back in uh, just, uh, I think yesterday morning, we added back for this leg that we thought would be the leg D. There again, that fourth highest peak goes to 35,018 today. It is leg D. It's underneath the previous D. I have a whole rule that I'll be discussing tomorrow about the rectangle formation, how prices very often work their way up towards that previous high. And it's at that high that a whole bunch of things can happen. My rule of thumb is in the rectangle, the price goes just about to right on or just above the previous high. 
and then it can start a pullback, and that's what we've got to be careful of. But I, I like to do this all live so that it's all very well looking historically back at everybody's 2020. You, they don't call it perfect vision for nothing. So let's look ahead. What I was saying this morning in my show, let me see if I can get to it right now, is that there was a buy signal based on the methodology that I'm going to teach tomorrow morning, and that that when this, uh, these two moving averages cross positive at about 9 o'clock this morning, about 9.10, at about 43.65, it was actually 34.63, in the E-mini, that there could be a, a strong rally. And, and as long as the technicals were positive, and during my show I said we had just made a peak D. I've talked about this fourth highest peak, and that was a third peak D. It turned around. And then I talk about a 200 period moving average, how important it is as resistance and, and support whenever the, the price gets close to it. Look how long it hung around this 200 period moving average. It went to D, it came back, tested it successfully, and ran up again and ran all the way to another two big buy modes. And then it went to this top at a peak F. Now, what's really interesting is that in my show, I said we were only at a peak B in the 10 minute chart. In the Chapman Wave methodology, we should go to a C and a D. And I looked with that pullback as I was wrapping up the show. It looked like, uh-oh, you're going to be wrong. But look what happened. The price went to peak A, pulled back to important moving averages, ran up to leg C to a high that's above B. I call it a floating letter. As it stops and turns around and makes what we call a peak, I'll teach how you identify peaks, it made that peak C. And then, boom, at about 12, 12 to 12.10, 12, that 10-minute chart made a doji candle, leg D. Look what happened. And he has this beautiful arch formation that I always talk about. Left side is trying to match the right side in price. These are all th I spoke about this live on air. I said looking back is great. Looking forward is really about your technique. That's about the technique. We finally got there, D, got a sharp pullback. Uh, this is live. This is what I'm saying. And, and now we're trying to go back towards the starting point at that 43.55 level. And we're at 43.61. Here's, I'll draw it for you right now. Here's this beautiful arch formation. It went up in four peaks and has come down so far in three, three troughs. The troughs on the way down, peaks on the way up. And I'll draw this in. That's exactly what we'll be doing live tomorrow. So I'll go to the standard charts, everything that people want to look at, daily, weekly, monthly charts. But I'll use the short term like I'm doing now to show patterns that repeat over and over. There's, you couldn't tell me whether this was a one minute chart or a monthly chart or a daily chart. Same thing on the right. That's a 10 minute chart. It looks like a monthly. It looks like anything. So the patterns are fractals. They are just little miniatures or expansions of the same patterns. So I'm really excited. This is a perfect time to be doing a workshop like this. And not only that, we've got the um, S&P and the NASDAQ making all-time highs. And now we're going to see how long that can last and whether we're going to get some kind of a turnaround in the next week or two. There's no doubt. I mean, and when you take a look at this uh, S&P chart, it's like, OK, I mean, it's been nonstop since what? Since the, well, you could. So look at the look at so so, so so exactly to put this into perspective, I always talk about D's. Well, we're at a little doji candle, but the week has just barely begun. But it's yeah. a leg D in the weekly chart. But we are only in leg B in the monthly. This almost looks like that That's ten good. minute chart that yeah. I showed. That big move from the bottom to a B, and then I pull back and said, "Oh, could it really go to a C and a D?" Well, in the Chapman methodology, if I'm correct. 2021 this year should still see higher highs to come we should still make monthly leg c's and then a leg d yeah it's there's no doubt it's amazing and folks it's very easy to come into this webinar so come over to our website at tfnn you're going to see it right in the featured content bottom line you can sign right up uh starts tomorrow morning now if you can't make this live folks okay everything is archived so for 295 dollars you're getting all day tomorrow you're getting a great newsletter for the month you're getting two weeks that you can go back and forth with Basil. You're getting two more hours in two weeks. You'll understand this Chapman wave upside down. Really, really cool. And uh, the bottom line is that, you know, we are, and Basil always seems to do this, we're in a great space in the marketplace. Um, and, you know, we'll see whether it's want to keep going or the market wants to turn. You know, I can't even believe, yeah. Basil, these ABCs in the, in the NASDAQ are like a mind blower. This is, well, this is the exactly most ABCs. Right. 
I have seen since 1996. You know. So in, in, in that relationship, I'm also going to be talking in this webinar, talking about the big picture. That is my 19, the match of the 1920s that I've been talking about for some time, the CODA phase. With I'm talking about the IAI, the broker dealer. Look at this. This is the IAI, the broker dealer, also only in leg B in the monthly chart. This is the iShares broker dealer ETF. Um, I, it's, it's, it's really hard to believe, but the matches between the night, you know that to this month, we are matching 1920 for rain here in Boston. For rain? It's come back. Yeah, this is going to be the heaviest month of rain that we've had in July since 1920. Everything's nice and green. That's a beautiful day. It I, is. I like it. <laughs> well, listen, man, Thank you have you a so. great one, safe one. We look forward to show. Well, no, we look for the web webinar tomorrow, man. Okay, webinar brother. tomorrow. Okay, Thank man. you. Have a great, have a great one. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 96. You get the NASDAQ uh, down 39. S&Ps are off uh, 14 and a half. We, we take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here. Let's see what we have happening. Let's see. Okay, so we have... Apple up a uh, buck twenty-five. Uh, AMC is down two eighty-five. This is going to be interesting with AMC. Now AMC has saved itself a dozen times. I mean, you talk about a cat, man. This thing has more than nine lives, uh, and this one's going to be really intriguing. The reason being is that when this went down hard and fast last Thursday, it did come back. But you got a high volume low that's getting tested out here today. 
3876 is the number. We made it to 3870. You're at 3979. What this actually looks like to me right now, this is going to be like a little razor blade cut. And I suspect if, it, if we close at these lows, meaning we're down $2.90, right? Next to the low, you're going to see this basically drift all the way down to like 13 bucks again, which will be a, that's going to be pretty intense because there's plenty of folks that, you know, have made plenty of money. The bottom line, buying every one of these dips in AMC. And, uh, uh, you know, we'll see where the baby shakes out. And it's great until it's not great. You know, you're talking about a, a still a $20 billion market cap for someone that uh, basically takes in $2.4 billion and loses, uh, let's see, what do we got? They lose uh, $3D. Yeah, three. Hey, oh my God, that loses two over two billion, two point five billion a year. So you, you're 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 paying to lose money. Pretty intense, no doubt about it. But we know how this shakes out. Uh, there's no doubt about that. Some of the other higher volume equities out here today: Virgin Galactic. Virgin Galactic, uh, bottom line, you know, got up, uh, you know, peaked into space for you know all of three minutes, whatever that was. Data secondary. Uh, this is down as. This is down three bucks today, trading to 37.60. You have uh, Advanced Micro down 65 cents. Tilray is uh, up nine cents. Ma Bell's down 28. Now, the big one when we look at this is Microsoft. Microsoft is up three dollars and 25 cents. We we're talking about it a little bit further uh, earlier. We'll see whether it's going to be an ABC structure on the way up. J.P. Morgan came out with numbers. They were great numbers. Bottom line, you get a sideways move inside J.P. Morgan. Uh, J.P. Morgan today. Trading out uh, down two bucks, one fifty five ninety one. Now that being said, that J.P. Morgan looks to me it still wants higher price. And the reason I'm saying that, you can see what happened yesterday. Yesterday you're going into a swing point. You needed ten million shares. Well, you got nineteen million to the swing point. You know this is where you can see bulls and bears fighting it out in a big way. But I expect the bulls are going to win on that. If we go look at Goldman Sachs, Goldman come out with numbers too. Good numbers on Goldman. And what you have with Goldman? There she is. Goldman, same type of setup. Now, oh, this is cool with Goldman. So check this out. Goldman went to a higher high out here today. We, we got to a price point. Got to a price point out here of uh, 385.33. You're at 376, but guess what? You did 5.4 million. Took out its swing point. That's saying that Goldman wants to go to its swing highs. Okay, so this is going to be intriguing watching this whole thing shake out. Tesla, let's go over to Tesla because what you have, uh, which is going to be really wild on Tesla, you have Elon Musk has been in court for two days on the aspect. And what this was all about, folks, was the Solar City deal. His brother was running the Solar City deal. You had a lot of shareholders taking him to court that there wasn't due diligence, that was an inside deal. And they, you know, in the next few days, uh, we're going to basically find out um, if, in fact, uh, Tesla, I mean, not te well, te well, Elon Musk is going to have to come up with another $2 billion, or he skates. Uh, the board, just to give you a little feedback on this, okay, the board of Solar City already come up with $60, bill 60 million. Okay, so this was already settled. Elon Musk wouldn't settle it, he, so he's the lone defendant on the deal. Um, we, we'll see where it shakes out. Tesla, um, you know, we'll see, you know, Tesla today rejected a uh, higher price. Had lighter volume, but it's not a bad looking shot. I mean, Tesla can get down to 620. What would happen here is that there's no doubt if he does lose this deal in the aspect that he was self dealing, um, he'll, that his reputation would take a, a, a small hit. <laughs> Let's put it this way uh, it's pretty hard uh, after all these years for you know, what he's got away with. I wouldn't think it's a big hit. He'll know how to patch up his. Um, reputation pretty quick. That's that's what I expect. The XAUHUI. Let's go take a look at it because what you had out here today, you have a weak market. We get a sideways market, not necessarily a weak market. You had gold pop. You had some of the equities pop. But XAU didn't hold price. Uh, we got to 143 or 140, 53 right now. Not bad, not great. I don't have the volumes on it. Won't get it till eight o'clock tonight. If we look at the gold bugs index, same type of setup. What you do have in the Gold Bugs Index, and this is what's pretty cool, is that you do have the aspect that the uh, price is holding better than the XAU. 
And when that happens, folks, that is saying that the price of gold is stronger. That, that's how that normally shakes out. When I say that the price of gold is stronger, what the difference, what I've found out over the course of years, what the difference is, the difference is, is that when the HUI is ahead of the XAU, I've found that gold goes higher faster and then the equities follow it pretty quick. When the XAU is higher than the HUI, then you can have some troubles, okay? Because then what that does is that you don't know whether that's going higher because of the context that the stocks that are inside the XAU are basically selling full with their gold. You know, that's kind of how it shakes out on a much larger basis. We go take a look at the uh, small caps out here. So the IWM, that's the only thing that's taken some damage out here today. The IWM uh, right now is down 380. And the IWM looks like to me that it's going to go after the swing low. That was generated out here last Thursday. You get a high volume swing low um, at 217, and that's game in a second. So when you look at the broad market, it's the IWM that's leading the broad market down if you think that's where it's going to go. There's just, and what's really cool here, so look, watch this for a second. This is going to be cool watching this. I want to see how this is going to shake out because there's a larger lower trend line. Come on, where is that? Where are you? Whoa, there it is. I got it. Okay. So there's a larger lower trend line that you want to keep your eye on. Because if this trend line breaks, this trend line is laying out right now at 215. You break that trend line, you're going to be down at 205 in a heartbeat. And that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like we're doing. And, and when you set up something like this, it's telling me that we are going down there because each time you're going to see at this bottom of this trend line is monster volume. Now, the real question is going to be, does it hold when it gets down there? Boeing. Let's go take a look at Boeing. Boeing still trying to work their way out of a mess. Boeing, high volume today. You're down $9.5, and Boeing straight into 228. Boeing's going to go after this 219. We'll see where it shakes out at 219, but the bottom line is that Boeing still has problems out here in a monster way. Transportation-wise, man, let me tell you, the, the airports are full, planes are full, they're ripping everyone off. You know, we'll see how far it goes out, but bottom line, it's status quo uh, back for the airlines again. Dow Industrials down 91, Nasdaq's off 36, S&P's off 12. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call, call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, down 70. You got the NASDAQ off 29. S&Ps are off 9.5. Let's go to our man, Mark, in Bedford. Mark, what's going on, brother? Not much, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Great. So I have two questions on the NASDAQ, but before I get to those two questions, I have two unrelated questions. Number one, has you started to get your grandson to read Time of, um, time of the Trade? And number two, have you, have you gotten your grandson on Think or Swim yet? That's a yes on both of them. <laughs> and, yeah, mm -hmm. that is. And I believe that Tommy's already got, yeah, yeah, that it's a yes, and that's a fact. It's so weird, man. It's, I'm not, I'm not kidding. <laughs> so what, what you need to do, Tom, is get an audio version of Thicker Swim. So while he's uh, sleeping in, in his uh, crib, you can, he can be listening to it. You should see, and, and you know what? I'll have Tommy make a video of this. This, is, folks, this is so cool. It's amazing. So you get a picture. Even when Tommy's on the air, okay? So the, the little Tommy's wakes up. The bottom line, he understands Bloomberg upside down. He can't even talk yet. It's so crazy, man. Well, when I say understands it, I mean, everything's, you know, like you're looking at the lights. You know what I mean? He loves them. So he sits on Tommy's lap because Tommy will call me. Normally, we FaceTime every morning, like at about 7 o'clock in the morning, 7.15. And it's just hilarious because Tommy's on the Bloomberg. I'm on it. We're looking at it. He's on it. He's on his lap looking at him. Yeah. And I appreciate you asking because it, it's crazy. Trust me. It's, it's, it's <laughs> okay, now a now more serious question. And there's two questions that I'll say in both yeah. before I give you an answer, or you let me answer. Number one, a week or two ago, you said several times on the air, when an ABC structure finishes, it usually does something else. That's right. So my first question is, we've had repeatedly back-to-back -back ABCs and the NASDAQ. I know. So that's my, that's my first confusion. Second point of confusion is on yesterday's show when Larry Pesaventa was filling in for you, Larry was very negative on the NASDAQ. And he kept talking about, he kept saying, folks, you better look out to quote Larry. And, you know, I have a lot of respect for all of you guys. I've listened to you since hell unfroze. Sure. So, I, you know, when... Uh, when when it sounds like you and Larry are on different pages on, on the Nasdaq, so maybe you can comment on both. Sure. So let's talk about the ABC structures first, because this is this is a great question. Number one. So what happens, folks, is that at the at the end of an ABC structure, it does something other than continue going on. Now that being said, and this is where we can get this unconfused mark. Okay is that when you do another ABC structure before you even finish the ABC, that's an ABC inside an ABC. And that's what the NASDAQ and the X100 has done and continues to do, which is like, you just heard what I said to Basil. This is the most ABCs I have seen in the marketplace since 1996. Um, you know, is it bizarre? It's not bizarre but they have to stop at some point. <laughs> Let's put it that way, okay? Um, but guess what? They don't, you know, and the reason that um, I'm real confident on the one we're in right now, the 370, 
It looks like we're going to get a 380 today. And what will end up happening, I'll hunt between tonight and tomorrow. And if I find more ABCs on the big dogs, meaning I know it looks to me like Microsoft's going to be an ABC, well, that's what it takes in order for the Qs to do an ABC because Microsoft right now, it only needs, it needs uh, just over 2.9 or 2.1 million in the next 15 minutes. It might get it. If it gets it, then the probability goes much higher that in the queues, you're going to end up doing that ABC because the weighting structure of the NDX100 is large. Um, as to uh, Larry and the NASDAQ, listen, we, you know, uh, we all have different opinions. We always have. You know what I mean? That's where, where it goes. So that's, that's something you've got to ask Larry. I mean, I, you know, that, that's what it really comes down to. Okay. Because I, I don't know if you listened to, I, to listen to yesterday's show, but he covered it in the first, he covered it in the first segment. Right. And he kept saying, folks, you better watch out. And he said in all of his years of, of, uh, doing technical analysis, he yes. has never seen anything more, uh, bearish than the NASDAQ. So I'm sitting well, here listening to this yesterday and I said, well, that's interesting. And I re-listened to it late last night um, before I went to sleep uh, on my phone. And I, I kept saying, boy, these, these two guys right, have a lot of respect for both you and Larry. And, of course, all of you guys from CFNN. But, you know, they're, it seems like they're, they're on different pages. Now, can, can both of you be right? This thing finishes off all these ABCs and we have this big correction? Yes. You know, so maybe you're both right. Who knows? But, yeah, um and- Listen, yeah, we know, it was just we, an observation, Tom. Yeah, so. no, no, and we know how it goes. I mean, listen, I find it hard to believe myself that even I'm saying this, okay? It's, <laughs> but it is what it is. That's, and what does happen is that I stick with the larger ABCs. I mean, uh, that's the bottom line. That's, I've been doing them long enough that, you know, if you get the volume behind the move, man. And it's, you, know what, you know what's really crazy here, too, Mark and folks? That's just deviant enough. For the market, because the market's job is to take the most amount of money away from the most amount of people in the least amount of time, and this will do it. You know what I'm saying? That, okay, the market's never going to get down. We'll end up getting a million calls in here saying just buy everything because it's not going to get down. Because that's how markets normally end, you know. I, and, and listen, we're at the beginning of earnings, and the numbers are big, man. But you can see they had J.P. Morgan had big numbers that didn't do much. Goldman had big numbers. I think Goldman looks like it wants to hit its high. I mean, they... They gave it up on price, but that looks like it wants to hit its high. But I think we're going to see big numbers. Now, if yeah, I'm sure you've been, talk, you've been hearing about us talking about inflation a lot, okay? So the CPI came in hot, right, 0.9 on a month-to-month, 5.4 in a year-to-year. Um, out of that, yes, there was one-third um, in used cars. But I think if you just trust yourself and just... All you have to do is hear about the wage increases across the United States. That alone is not transitory. As one of our tigers is saying um, in the den this morning, is that, well, if you think wages are transitory, that you can go in and give someone a raise, and three months later, you know, you turn around and say, oh, now we're not going to give you a raise. Like, you're out of your mind. That is not going to happen. <laughs> you know, so, so that's built in, man. Uh, I mean, that, that's the bottom line. So, and if that's the case, Mark, we're looking at a market that will have higher numbers, but won't buy you as much. But we'll have higher numbers. Well, what, Tom, let me ask you, what about my thesis I just mentioned that we finish off all these ABCs and then we have this correction that Larry was, was well, there's saying? Well, there, there, we know there's always going to be a correction. You know, there just hasn't been one. I mean, you know, that, that's a given, man. I mean, in, 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 other words, in other words, your thesis is, yes, well, I want this a matter of when. Yes. Totally. Absolutely. Okay. Right. Cooking right, Well, you got to get that audio version of um, the audio book of, the, of Time in the Trade. And while, while your grandson's sleeping, you got to play it in the background. Okay. I like it, man. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> you, don't, you, don't have a, you don't have an audio version of that, do you? I don't. I don't. No. That's all, all right. right. Cooking Brothers. Take well, care, Tom. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Dow, Dow Industrials right now down 91. You get the Nasdaq off 44. S&Ps are off 13. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today, our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty and amino acids in an easy to use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air and water, without them life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at tfnn.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial's down 100 to get the NASDAQ off 52, S&P's off 14 and a half. Don't forget about our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, folks. Really easy to come into that workshop tomorrow. Just go to the website, TFNN, right on the featured content you can sign up right now it starts at nine o'clock tomorrow morning and if we go look at the 10-year you know we, there's a couple questions about the bond market yeah i think you can have a decent retracement here man um the bottom line is that you had 1.9 million contracts uh out here right now and you know what, what you have here is that um you're coming down with volume you go back inside the range inside the range is that 133.05 and you're at 133.01 and with that where I'm, where i'm thinking this thing goes folks is this is that you get down to the highs of the lows. And the highs of the lows on this are 132.05, you know. And I suspect at that particular point, more than likely what you're going to see is that you see a contraction of volume. It will drive everyone crazy again. Bottom line, that's a normal pullback in a market that it went one way. In, this, in the bond market, um, you know, uh, bottom line definitely went one way. If you look at that run inside the bond market, okay, uh, we started out, uh, you know, three months ago at, uh, what, 129? It ran all the way to uh, 134. And you're pulling back right now, and I think you're just going to pull back to that consolidation. That's the way it seems to be setting up. Uh, what is getting, is going to get intriguing, there's no doubt about it, uh, is the um, understanding uh, of the deal of these ABC structures. And, you know, what keeps powering that NDX 100. 
You know, it's a, it's a big deal. There's no there's no two ways about it. It's powerful. It's in there. Uh, the dollar the dollar's over that swing point. So the dollar and gold are conflicting right now, and in a big way. I mean, you know that that uh, 92 409 number, uh, 405 number is a big deal, and we're 400 ticks over it right now. So that's saying that it can go to the top. The euro looks uh, like it's going to break out its bottom. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about, whatever you focus on grows. And whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it, take ownership of it, and fly with it. Everything we need, folks, is right inside us. You might as well have a blast with us. Come back and visit us tomorrow. Please tell your friends to go to YouTube, search TFNN. Tommy kicks us off, 9 a.m., great show. Oh, yeah, look at them, folks. Building